Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. Um, it's time to do some Blu-ray shopping. I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing any today. I uh, had a bit of a rough night last night and I felt shitty this morning. So I had to phone in sick from work. Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better now so... Nothing can get in the way of Blu-ray shopping, really, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, big title out today is The Fast of the Furious 8. So, we're going to head into Sainsbury's, have a look in Tesco's, uh, and also go and he hit up B&M again. Uh, I want to have a look to see if they've got any new toys and collectibles in there. Plus, also, I want to get a double-down dog nobody knows what that is apparently kfc have got this new uh these two new things on the menu called double down you double down burger and a double down dog and what they've done they've replaced the bun uh with chicken so it all seems pretty straightforward for a burger but how the fuck do you replace a hot dog bun with chicken we'll find out later Let's go do some Blu-ray hunting first, though. First location of the day is Sainsbury's, so let's pop in there and have a look to see what they got. OK, here we are at the top of the escalator. Looks like they've only got a small display for uh, Fast and Furious as well, so even though we had a small one for Wonder Woman, we've got a small one for this as well. So the display for Fast and Furious isn't that big either um, I think they're just uh, leaving way at the top of the escalator there for Halloween shit so stuff like that so they've then got a very small display so we'll head over to the main section now and have a look how big it is okay here we are over at the blu-ray section so here's the biggie of the week fast and furious 8 nice metallic -y cover to that really enjoyed this film even though we didn't have Paul Walker in it and uh, also we've got uh, an entire eight movie box set as well so that's pretty good that's pretty thick there um so yeah you've got all one to eight everything so that's pretty good until you get movie number nine of course so that's pretty good at 35 pounds also i noticed here there's uh they've re-released thor i suppose to tie in with the new film which is out next month uh just with a different cover so it's a mm, quite bland uh, and also The Crown as well, which I absolutely love this series on Netflix. And I've got the uh, the special collector's edition, or the limited edition on Blu-ray coming, so I'll do an unboxing for that one. Uh, here's the, uh, the 4K as well for Fast and Furious. No slip on this one, I was expecting like a, kind of like a metallic slip, but uh, not on this one. And here are the, uh, the DVD section. So there's Fast and Furious. That's more of a metallic shine on it, on that cover. So yeah, I do like that cover, that's pretty good. And that's £10, and also we've got for £30 the 8 movie collection as well. And uh, the Churchill, I did a movie review, I went to see this with Brian Cox uh, playing uh, Churchill. And I really enjoyed it, it's a pretty good film. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'd, I'd advise you know, to watch it. Uh, another cheapy for seven pounds is ice new age what's that apocalypse new age apocalypse they're all getting into these disaster movies at the moment because of the new uh, disaster one that's coming out later on this month plus also um wesley snipes armed response so straight to dvd eight quid poor old wesley snipes and there's also something here called the vault uh, the heist was just the beginning, so Francesca Eastwood, I don't know, is she a member of the Eastwood family? But uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Around here on the TV section, I've got a couple of new ones, all round to Mrs Brown's, uh, which is a, a really good show, such a funny show. If you're outside of the UK, you probably don't know what it is. Uh, and also Fargo, year three. Now, I haven't seen this series, uh, I, yeah, Ewan McGregor, he plays two parts in this, but uh, I missed this. Uh, I really want to get into it. And also um, Bates Motel as well. So I'm a little bit behind on that, so I really need to get stuck in. That's season five. 
didn't realise there was five seasons. Also on this little DVD section here, um, we've got a couple of these new slip Thor ones uh, with the gold background. So they're not that interesting, uh, but for seven pounds, if you haven't got them, you know, pick them up. Notice a little section here on Star Wars again. I think we've looked at this section before. So we'll just have a look through, see if there's anything new that's been added. It's got all the regular figures there, 3PO. All this Chewbacca at the back there. And Solo, Chewbacca. Oh, Porg! Porg alert, Porg alert! Yay! So yeah, another small display at the top of the escalators. This really isn't on Sainsbury's. Uh, Lulu was a bit furious. She was fast and furious with the Wonder Woman display being piddly little pissing thing. So I'm quite surprised with these big movies, Wonder Woman and Fast and Furious. This display should be huge. I don't know if you remember back when Rogue One came out down at uh, Tesco's and they had the big sleeve. They had fucking cardboard cutouts of um, K2SO, Stormtroopers. Huge display it was, so they should be doing the same. Uh, but I don't know, maybe their budgets are a bit shit. But yeah, so Fast and Furious was the big release this week. We're going to head over into Tesco's in a minute. I've got Fast and Furious 8 coming on Steelbook from Zavi. So um, hopefully we'll be able to have a look at that later on and I'll do a separate unboxing for that as well as The Crown as well, which is a limited edition kind of black box uh, which sold out on Amazon. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's one of these gatefold ones with lots of bits and pieces inside so look forward to seeing that so let's shut up and piss off over to Tesco's and see if they've got anything on the shelves over there okay folks we're at Tesco's island of Hurricane Ophelia and on one side of the country it's brought 90 mile an hour winds and floods and shit like that and on the other side of the country where I am bleeding warm temperature so very unusually warm for this time of the year I should be putting wearing coats by now but anyway enough of this chatter let's get in there to Tesco's and see what we've got Okay, we're at the Blu-ray section in Tesco, so they've got the usual uh, with Wonder Woman there as well, still on 4K. But no, nothing new on the Blu-ray section in Tesco, so we'll try the DVD section. Let's wander over here, Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, Fast and Furious. Uh, anything else interesting? And they've got the Churchill as well on DVD there. people in here today as well. And uh, Once Upon a Time, I think that's season six is it? I believe it's season six. Uh, and also Sparta. This is Sparta. Also it's a boxing, boxing film. That's interesting. Not heard of that one. There, pretty much, yeah, some empty shelves there as well. Well, they've got Vikings in here, seasons one to four, the entire box set. So that's pretty good. They've got this stupid bloody hub thing on it again as well, like they did. Oh, dear me. Look at the damage that's caused that box. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous. They might as well bin that. No one's going to buy that. Please, Tesco. Stop putting those stupid bloody hubs on your Blu-rays and DVDs. Christ, I'm starting to look like Krusty the Clown here. Yes, look at the damage you're causing. I thought it was just the, the big sleeves that were getting damaged, but that was hideous. Christ, if I wanted to go in there and buy that, I wouldn't buy it. Not with the damage like that. Fucking wouldn't buy it at 50 quid for, for four seasons on DVD anyway. Christ, that's early week rant out of the way. So I think I'm going to po possibly head over to Poundland. Yeah, um, we'll head over to Poundland. 
it's going to be hit or miss whether or not they've got a delivery in as it's only been a couple of days since I've been there but both there, Dover uh, and a few other stores seem to be really lacking the last week or two so hopefully one of these stores is bound to have a big delivery in sooner or later so we go over now and we'll have a look and chance it so I'll see you over Poundland Holy crap, it's really warm. The sun's blaring away. It's got to be at least 25, 26 degrees. They weren't kidding. This has really brought some unusually warm weather. It's probably here just for the day. Christ, if it gets any warmer, I'm going to strip off and go and jump in the sea. Oh no, we better not do that, eh? They'll put out a fucking beached whale alert. <laughs> but anyway, um, getting a little bit peckish, so I'm going to piss off now to KFC. I'm going to try this double down hot dog and see what all the fuss is about. So I'll see you in a minute. Early on, I stopped at a petrol station, uh, basically to get a drink because I was thirsty. So I picked up a Diet Coke. And I thought, there's something wrong with the taste. Doesn't say, doesn't taste like Diet Coke. If I just fucking realise why. I don't know if you can see that. Along the top there is the, the date, the use by date, the top line. 21st of August, 2017. 31st of August, 17, I mean. 31st, so it's nearly two months out of date. I've noticed that a lot with stores with things like Diet Coke just using up the stock i mean it's still got a bit it's still got the fizz but it's got a weird taste to it so we'll get rid of that anyway because i ain't drinking that shit and obviously i've driven too far that i could take it back so just stopped in at kfc got myself a nice fresh pepsi Not as good as Diet Coke, but hey ho. And also, the double down dog. Now, from the picture that I saw, let's stop making a lot of rustle, rustling noise. From the picture that I saw was a bun, um, a bun of made of chicken with a hot dog on it. But that's not what's being sold. So I don't know whether or not that's over in America or, or somewhere else. So I'm not quite sure what to make of this. If I try and... That... is supposed to be... It's got cheese in it and bacon. I don't know how on earth that is supposed to be a double down hot dog. I should fuck them have, have them up for the Trade Description Act on that or trading standards. Literally, it's two pieces of chicken with a bit of bacon and a cheese slapped in the middle. Anybody could bake it. So, yeah, very disappointed. So, I'm just going to have a bite into this and see what it's like. I mean, it's KFC chicken. That's what it's going to taste like. Yeah. It's KFC chicken. With a bit of cheese and a bit of bacon. What the hell is special about that? Oh, KFC. You've disappointed me. So, well, I started it now. I might as well finish it. Um, and then we'll pop in B and M uh, and have a look at the toys and the um, the collectibles. Look at that! That's not what's on the display. That's terrible. Lulu, 
don't worry, you're not missing anything, love. I've just Googled KFC Double Down Dog. And apparently it's only available in the Philippines. What the fuck? Who in the fucking Philippines eats KFC? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so... Here's what I was expecting to get. Here's what is actually available in the UK. And here's what I actually got. Yeah. Sorry, KFC. You've let me down.
okay, let's have a look, see if we've got any toys and shit. Um, I don't know what this is. Some head popping shit, I don't know. Wow, what the hell's that? Oh, that bored me. Up here we've got the uh, really big BB-8 unit. Massive it is. You see the size of the body of it to my hand. I think this is probably the same one that was over Sainsbury's over Westwood Cross a couple of weeks ago and it was originally 70 quid but they'd uh, reduced it down to 50 as well a massive massive Batman figure this is up to my chest so I don't know what it's supposed to do press me no it doesn't seem to do anything oh well Oh, we've got another big, massive stand up here. Oh, good old Vader. 40 inches, 89.99. Yeah, that's pretty high. Oh, look, three stormtroopers all in a row. And they still couldn't shoot for shit. Oh, we've got some Halloween. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Halloween animated prisoner. And they've got all sorts of different types here. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, he's trying to get out. <clears throat> That's quite good, actually. You could probably get bored, but uh, it's quite good. Poor oh, old clown can't get out. He looks fucking vicious, he does. It's beginning to look like, like Christmas. So please stop singing, Paul. What the fuck is this? Poo head. Fun game of skill. What? And how many pieces of shit you can head her? <laughs> oh, what the fucking hell? What? There's a lot of novel stuff here. Pug stress ball, meerkat stress ball. These are all like little stocking fellas. Make mine a large one. Ooh, lots of tinsel. We got fox farts in a can. Perfect for the cinema. Fidget widget, what key fob? Oh shit, I had one of these for a secret Santa a couple of years ago. No, I didn't use it. <laughs> the perfect man and the perfect woman blow up dolls. So I'm not exactly sure that... Well, I suppose that would be someone's Christmas somewhere. And uh, Magic, what is this fascination with Pooh? Christ, these bleeding things are shit, these are. Oh, no, this is good. Look at this. Passenger the Queen. Famous passenger car window sticker. Yes, my husband and I. Oh, and they got Trump as well. Oh, if you're daring enough to stick that in your window, you might not have a window left afterwards. Who knows? Lots and lots of Christmas decorations. What we got over here? Toilet roll crime scene. I'll tell you what, after I've been to the toilet, we need a fucking crime scene investigator. <laughs> There's a, a fascination here with poo and toilets. What the hell is going on? Is that what people want these Christmases? And some beer bottles, uh, these are uh, bottle openers. Sounds pretty good. Got all sorts of shit in here, isn't there? And the brew father the brew father giant mug. Making a brew he can't refuse. <laughs> That's quite good that is. That's pretty good. And what's this? Bigger is better, big boy travel mug. That should be big poorly travel mug. Oh, well. 
Uh, some more Christmassy bits. Lots of Christmassy bits. Even more Christmassy bits. And more Christmassy bits. And a whole row of Christmassy bits. Oh look, more Christmassy bits. And chocolate advent calendars. Very nice. Some minion bits. Blimey. Chocolate for Christmas, that's what ever, anybody ever has, isn't it? And a chilli challenge. Yeah, I've got something like this. Lulu bought me something like this. It's like a, a roulette thing. I haven't had the nerve to actually try it yet. I hope the chocolate's still alright. Candy. Beyonce. Gaga. Perfumes and shampoos and the Sex and the City. Oh, I don't know what that is, some kind of sweet dispenser, I think. More smelly bits. Lazy Mr. Man. Ooh, some minions, Transformers, bath and shower. Ooh. Ooh. That looks very novel. In the last Jedi packaging as well. And they're quite good they are. I like the way they've moulded the uh, the Avengers ones there. And what's this? Millennium Falcon Bath Time Fun. Uh, water Squirter. Also, I suppose the Millennium Falcon is the Water Squirter. Of course, I'm not going to have that much fun in the bath. So, back from the shops, uh, back from having my KFC Double Down Dog which I'm not sure about Kentucky Fried Chicken it's probably more appropriate Kentucky Fucked Up Chicken but anyway we've had our little rant about that uh, this week's big title uh, I got home and my delivery was here from Zavi so it's the Fast and Furious 8 Steelbook so very nice so I shall be unboxing that in a separate video uh, and I've already dug out all the other ones as well uh, one to seven and uh, so we can kind of get an idea of what they look like all together uh, also I had delivery of the crown very nice so I shall be unboxing that in a separate video as well so two lovely unboxings coming up wasn't much else out there that I was interested in uh, complete blast complete shithole in Poundland so I think we really will give that a wide berth until at least I see some evidence of new titles coming in the only thing left to do now is to ask Alexa some fast and furious shit ask Alexa shit Alexa, what is the fate of the Furious? The Fate of the Furious is a 2017 American action film directed by F. Gary Gray and written by Chris Morgan. Alexa, who is Charlize Theron? Charlize Theron is a South African and American actress and film producer. Alexa, what films has Charlize Theron been in? The films that Charlize Theron is a star in include Atomic Blonde, The Fate of the Furious, Prometheus, Mad Max, Fury Road and Kubo and the Two Strings. Alexa, Wiki KFC. KFC, until 1991 known as Kentucky Fried Chicken, 
is an American fast food restaurant chain that specializes in fried chicken. Headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky, it is the world's second largest restaurant chain after McDonald's, with almost 20,000 locations globally in 123 countries and territories as of December 2015. The chain is a subsidiary of Yum! Brands, a restaurant company that also owns the Pizza Hut and Taco Bell chains. KFC was founded by Colonel Harlan Sanders, an entrepreneur who began selling fried chicken from his roadside restaurant in Corbin, Kentucky during the Great Depression. Sanders identified the potential of the restaurant franchising concept, and the first Kentucky fried chicken franchise opened in Utah in 1952. Dabble down my ass. Ask Alexa shit. Well, folks, I think that's about it for this week. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. As I say, I'll be um, doing some separate unboxings for these two beauties, uh, hopefully later on today. So keep an eye out for those. As I say, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.